Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and if they've been busy or if they've been busy avoiding you. And so I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. So let's go ahead and jump right in. A person on Taurus's mind, show me, have they been busy or busy avoiding Taurus? They have definitely been busy. Okay, this person is hard at work. Woo! I know you're like, thank goodness. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. They're definitely focused on money, studies, you know, continuing their education, maybe even finishing up some kind of um, uh, trade or, you know, summer schooling of like maybe they did college through the summer, you know, but. This person has been really focused on that. So we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. They've also been helping out family. So that's another thing, Taurus. This person has really been traveling. Um, maybe they travel for work for some of you, or they've just been moving really fast and their focus has been on, you know, building success for themselves, uh, you know, a lot of money. Um, not only that, you know, family has been something that they've been spending time with family. So if they told you that, like, sorry, I was with my family and you're like, well, what the heck? What about me? Um, they have very little time. They're kind of scattered, honestly, because it, they have to make quick decisions. And the only downtime they have is very little. And their family is asking them like, Hey, come over or whatever. And, um, so they've had those things going on, but building a successful, um, income for themselves, not only that, like name brand or like just a high reputation, trying to increase their money flow. They have been definitely very diligent in their studies and in their work and focused on that money is important to them. So I do have Sagittarius as well as Gemini, Libra, um, Virgo energy. Yeah. Virgo energy that comes out so far. Let's go ahead and clarify that eight of wands. All right. So we have the devil that comes out. Their commitment is so serious here. So they have this strong commitment to their work. The wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck. There's also the fact that when they get messages from you, um, if they can't get back to you right then, they think like, I've got to get back to Taurus. It is a little frustrating to them when they don't get back to you right away. But this person has a very strong commitment to what they are trying to uh, excel at. Um, and the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck, you know, because this comes out with that devil energy tells me that success and, and just having luck on their side with maybe making more money or, you know, just really focused on that. Sometimes whenever we are really into something we're doing, we get hyper-focused and that's what I'm seeing with this person. They're so hyper-focused at like maintaining, you know, their stability, um, increasing their money as well. They're trying to literally climb that ladder. I know there's a bunch of people here, but they're trying to climb that, 
that ladder of family, you know, success here as well. Maybe they're taking over a business um, in the family and having to learn how to do that. There's also the fact that this person could be a single parent for some of you. And so they, you know, when it comes to family, that's where their focus has been. I've got to take care of them. I've got to make sure they have everything that they need. But, you know, you are on their mind. It's just really hard for them to give any of that attention to you when they have a lot going on in their personal life aside from you. So they haven't been busy avoiding you. They've just been extremely focused and like they have to keep giving to that temptation energy of, I got to get this done. I got to get this done now. I got to do it. If I don't do it now, I'm going to fall behind, you know, that kind of thing. So it's super focused, hyper fixated energy of success and trying to stay on top and keep that, that good luck going, you know, in their life here. And so, um, I do have more Sagittarius energy that comes out as well as Capricorn. So let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of swords. The High Priestess comes out as well as the Knight of Pentacles um, at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, they're just really focused on trying to get things achieved. It keeps going back to that. They do think about you. Um, they also, it's like business is good for them. Money is good for them right now. And that's where their focus has been. That's where all their time is really going. And the Knight of Pentacles, just so you know, this is not somebody who goes out and messes around with a bunch of people or, you know, this is somebody who is devoted when they say they're going to do something they're going to do it. And that Knight of Pentacles is someone that, you know, they don't just date anyone. They look for the right person and their intuition has been telling them that you have been frustrated. Um, but they feel like you also understand that they've been busy and that if you believe them, um, then it's going to work, you know, because they're like, I'm not doing anything else. Hopefully Taurus doesn't think that, you know, I'm out with somebody else because I'm not, you know, they have this knowing that you're being patient, that, you know, you will understand that they've been really busy, that they're not somebody who they, they trust and entrust in you that you believe them when they tell you that they have had a lot going on in their life and it doesn't involve them seeing anybody else. And the other thing about this Taurus is they like a very strong person like that because that shows a lot of maturity and it also shows a lot of um, self-love within somebody and knowing who they are. And so they like that from you. Um, I do have Pisces energy as well as yours and Virgo that comes out here. Let's go ahead and clarify that 10 of pentacles. They also do not think that you're doing anything wrong while they're, they've been busy with other things. Um, yeah. So the 10 of pentacles is clarified by the four of cups and the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. What I see here is that even though, you know, money has been something that, um, they're striving for building success, a name brand, and just trying to really be successful. Um, they are feeling a little bit like they're missing out, you know, like, eh, I just feel like I'm missing out. And that ace of cups at the bottom of the deck, they definitely want like this rebirth of romance here. You know, they're missing that love that they were getting. And it feels like also family, um, if they're around family and family have loved ones with them, they're like, I wish I had Taurus here. But, you know, if you haven't met their family yet, that's something where... They don't want to push it too far just yet. And then also with how busy they've been with trying to um, achieve, you know, growing a business or or um, expanding their, their education to excel in their career and things like that and take care of their loved ones, you know, they do get bored with just being with just family. They do get bored with just work here. Um, so they do want that you know, romance. They want to feel that spark, that love that they feel like they've been missing out on. Um, but they've been busy. <laughs> so there is that. They're like, yeah, the abundance is nice, but, ah, uh, 
there's just that something missing there. Um, there's a sense of stagnation, like money is in everything, but they have to keep going. They can't stop here. And I do have um, Cancer, um, Scorpio, and Pisces energy that comes out there. Well, let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. What are they holding back from telling Taurus? There's also the fact that this person feels like you might eventually get bored with the fact that they're like a workaholic or that they're so busy all the time. And they would completely understand if you wanted to be with somebody else or if you wanted to just be friends and that's all for now um, because of the fact that they have so much going on. They're trying to be understanding, but yeah, they do. They desire you, but their intuition is definitely picking up on the fact that you might be your patience might be growing thin here, and that you're eventually going to get bored with the fact that they just work all the time um, or try to create this this long term career for themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look. What is this person holding back from telling Taurus? Right, so there's a couple of things here, quite a few things. You know, do they? Mm, it could be Taurus. I know it's not the messages might not apply to everyone's situation, so only take what applies. It is a general reading. Some people get really, you know, into the reading and think everything's in their form, so it's general. Just remember that. Um, just being near you is intoxicating. They do like being with you when they're with you. It's like things happen so fast. Um, they are definitely preparing themselves for the fact that you might move on. I'm just going to let you know. So I hope that you can forgive me one day. And that is because they have been so busy and they completely understand that, you know, maybe right now is not the right time to have something, uh, more than what you two have right now. So we need to let each other go. This is something that they're preparing for because of the fact that they feel you are going to, you know, be very turned off or just get very bored with the fact that they're a workaholic. And they're like, well, I'm just preparing. Like we have to let each other go because if Taurus tells me that, then okay. But they are in love with you. Um, they do love you. And it's like, they're trying to understand that, you know, if you want to go, they're okay with that. And so, but at the bottom of the deck, this one kind of threw me off for, you know, maybe it applies to someone's situation here. I bury myself in work to forget you. Um, is it something that they intentionally do though? Burying themselves in work to forget you. It's like they're trying not to make things too serious between the two of you, even though they love you. And it's because they've been so busy with other things and they're a workaholic. And maybe that's what they've chose is like, I have to focus on me. Um, I can't get too tied up with Taurus or else I'm going to lose sight of where, you know, my journey is taking me, of where I'm supposed to go. Um, but this would be very nice for them to talk to you about all of this. And I feel that they will. Um, you might not like what they have to say. They might tell you like, we have to let each other go because I'm not going to stop my career. You know, this is where my path is taking me. This is what I have to do. Um, but burying themselves in work to forget you, that just throws me off a little bit. And it comes off in a sense that they are a workaholic. You know, they do feed to that energy of commitment. And it's like, it's a binding agreement that they have to get this done and it doesn't matter. And, you know, they can't focus on having a serious relationship because they have so much going on, but they like being with you. You are very intoxicating them. They are falling in love with you. They are in love with you. But everything else here is, I got to, I got to stick with work. I got to do what I have to do. Um, so that can be difficult as well, but I do hope that you two can, uh, at least talk about this, discuss it, or if you choose to let go, that's, you know, that's on you to make your own decision just as it's on them to make their own decision. And I do see them understanding. And so they're trying not to fall too much in love with you that it pulls away from their focus of what they're trying to achieve for themselves personally. 
So Taurus, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.